In our last video, we looked at diagnostic tips related to air and our traditional conceptual framework of air, fuel, and spark. This video will look at fuel. The first thing you want to do is check your fuel trims. An air fuel ratio of 14.7 air to fuel is ideal for most gasoline combustion engines when they're operating in normal closed loop operation. The further you are from stoichiometry, the more likely it is that you're going to trigger a catalyst and efficiency code. The vehicle works to maintain that ideal air fuel ratio by adjusting the amount of time or the injector pulse width that fuel enters the combustion chamber. Pollution production is minimized when you're at stoichiometry and the efficiency of the catalytic converter at reducing that pollution is maximized when you're near stoichiometry. Make sure that the converter is getting the right air fuel mixture by looking at your total fuel trims and making sure the car is running close to stoichiometry. If you notice that you're running rich, you want to check the following things. Your mass airflow sensor. You want to check if that is dirty or defective. Your O2 or your air fuel sensors. You want to make sure that those are not lazy or defective. Your engine cooling temperature sensor. Make sure that's not defective. Perhaps it's sending a false cold signal that causes the ECM to go rich. Leaking or dribbling fuel injectors. A fuel pressure leak down test can help detect those. Fuel pressure regulator. Again, a fuel pressure leak down test can help isolate that. Exhaust leaks or pinholes before the O2 sensor, look for those. If you notice that you're running lean, here are some things you can check. Your mass airflow sensor could be dirty or defective. Your O2 sensors, again, could be lazy or defective. Vacuum leaks from intake gaskets or hose could be the cause there. Clogged or dirty fuel injectors could also be an issue. Exhaust restrictions, such as a clogged catalytic converter, can also cause a leak condition. 